That's ten dollars across. All right, and the first is Santa Anita. He's carrying Hi, Joe. For Hi. Is it? Hello? Who? Oh, sure, Barney. Miss T. Day, the sixth at Hialeah. Across the board, huh? Yeah. Yeah, there's plenty of time. All right, Barney, you're on. All right, lady, I got you. That's Brown Jug and the second at Santa Anita, anyone. Two dollars to show. Okay. That's a real plumber. Take care of this for me, will you? Hello. Sure, why not? I work here. Yeah, Charlie. Uh, how are things with the tennis crowd? Well, they ask about you all the time. Yeah. Did you ever figure out how you made out with those rich ladies over at the club? I've got a lot of charm. And they can afford it. Oh, Regis was asking for you. Good. Yeah, Charlie, I'm listening. Okay. Hi, boss. Oh. I thought you'd be in La Jolla by now. You know, I couldn't leave without saying goodbye. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. I get all choked up, too. There. That'll make us both feel better, huh? Uh-huh. Anytime I can ever do anything for you... You're doing it. That is expense money. You mean I'm working this weekend? A little bit. Between sets. Herbert Guild. You've probably taken calls from him. He's been a real nice better over the past few years. Nice steady winner, too. Conservative, not a plunger, but a real nice client. He live in La Jolla? He did, or does, I don't know. But three months ago, it says there, he stopped calling in. Now, I don't like to lose a real nice client, Walter. So, uh, here, you get in touch with him, huh? Good address. Best apartment hotel in La Jolla. Oh, nothing but class. But uh, that's your kind of business, so buy him a drink. Get to talk his language. Maybe even play a little tennis with him. But get Mr. Herbert Gill back on our books, huh? Boss, uh, maybe he's got a daughter. OK. Maybe he's got a daughter. Thank you. Have a happy weekend. <laughs> Is this Mr. Herbert Gill's apartment? Mm-hmm. Who are you? Well, my name is Richmond, but I don't think that'd mean much to Mr. Gill. Uh, I don't think it would either. Would you like to come in, Mr. Richmond? If you don't mind. I'm uh, Mrs. Gill. Hello. Won't you sit down? Thank you. Are you from out of town, Mr. Richmond? Los Angeles. <laughs> I didn't think I'd seen you around. Is your husband home, Mrs. Gild? Do you expect him soon? No. Well, then. Have you ever met my husband, Mr. Richmond? No, I never have. If you could tell me when you expect him, perhaps I could call later. Well, I don't expect him. My husband is dead, Mr. Richmond. Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Gild. I didn't know. Well, he's been dead for six months. You like a drink? Well, I don't want to trouble you. Well, I'll tell you when it's trouble. Okay? Okay. You look like, um, scotch and water, right? Right. Herbert looked like sherry. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's Herbert on the coffee table. Surprised? Should I be? Everyone else was, including Herbert. Cheers, Mr. Richmond. Cheers, Mrs. Gill. He does look like Sherry, doesn't he? He looks, um, nice. Well, he was. Very nice. I can tell a lot about a person just looking. 
Like what? Oh, well, not everything, of course, but a lot. Take you. The way you dress, the way you uh, cut your hair. I can tell you're particular. You like nice things. I like nice things. The way you move, the way you carry yourself, as if you're sure. No, it's something more than that. Are you some kind of athlete? Well, I play a lot of tennis. <laughs> See? I can tell a lot. Just looking. But not everything. <laughs> well, who can tell everything? Did I tell you Herbert drowned? No, you didn't tell me how he died. He always said he didn't like sailing. One day he took a sailboat out from Mission Bay. I found what was left of it on the rocks by the ocean. It's a shock, I tell you. I'm sure it was. You never said why you wanted to see my husband. My boss asked me to look him up. Said he hadn't heard from him for a while. <laughs> Just a friendly visit. Just a friendly visit. I was hoping it was money. He looks like money, doesn't he? But there wasn't much. Just a little insurance. Sorry. Well, I've got to be going. Thanks for the drink, Mrs. Gilt. I don't usually talk so much. Does your work bring you down to La Jolla very often, Mr. Richmond? It's beginning to look like it will. Goodbye, Mrs. Gilt. It's just that I don't like to close a file on a good customer, Walter. Of course, when they die, it's... Well, it's not like losing to another bookie. You're all hard, Regis. Uh, it's not like I knew Herbert Gill. It's just that we made a little money together, that's all. Looks to me like he did all right for himself. Well, like I said, conservative. Not a big plunger, but a good, steady client. He placed his last bet with us three months ago. The 10th of December. Mm-hmm. Made almost $600 on a two-horse parlay. Where did get him? Hmm? You can't take it with you, Walter. You're a philosopher, boss. Uh, no luck, huh? Not yet. Pity. Look, look, are you sure that it would be in the papers what you're looking for? It ought to be. Uh-huh. Well, uh, well, uh, are you sure it was last September, are you? September six months ago, isn't it? Well, let me see. Yeah, yeah, six months it is. Here it is. Herbert. Herbert Guild! Well, why didn't you say so? Look, I'd like to read this. Well, I can tell you the whole thing. I know him for years. Anything you want to know about Herbert Guild, I can tell you. I just want to make sure it was September when he died. Drowned. All right, drowned. Presumed drowned. <laughs> or, or haven't you got that far yet? Presume drowned? Yeah. They had to presume. They never found hide nor hair of his body. 